Moving on, the European Union is planning a fourth round of sanctions against Moscow in response to the invasion of Ukraine. At the same time, millions of refugees continue to flee Ukraine into the EU. Rosie Bichard has more from Brussels. These fresh sanctions will include a ban on exporting EU luxury goods to Russia and a ban on future European investments into the Russian energy sector. And the EU's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, hopes these measures will hurt Moscow. This will be another major blow to the economic and logistic base upon which the Kremlin is building the invasion and taking the resources to find it. But Kiev wants more. It's been calling for the EU to stop buying Russian oil and gas altogether. The EU as a whole is dependent on Russia for its energy supplies. And several members say a full embargo would be just too risky for the bloc's energy security. Meanwhile, the latest UN figures suggest more than 2.5 million Ukrainians have fled the country, most of them into EU members, including Poland. Now, all EU countries have agreed to offer these Ukrainian refugees unprecedented support, temporary residence permits, access to the labour market and education. That's broadly been welcomed by campaigners and efforts are underway across the bloc to find Ukrainians new homes, get children into schools and set up language learning courses. But some are urging EU nations not to forget crises elsewhere in the world. The UN Refugee Agency says thousands have been displaced by drought in Somalia and is calling for extra funds. And the boss of that agency, Filippo Grandi, is in Afghanistan, where he warns millions still struggle to meet their basic needs. Rosie Burchard, SABC News, Brussels.